Hi, I'm Kelly from Moshe Eye Care. I am sitting with Dr. John Morrow. He is one of our ophthalmologists here and a LASIK and cataract surgeon. Um, so thank you for sitting and talking to me. No problem, Kelly. I just wanted to ask you, I know you do a ton of LASIK and cataract procedures every week here, but um, I understand there's also a lot of special cases that you do, special surgical procedures that you know aren't your typical everyday type of surgeries. So if you don't mind just sharing a little bit about those experiences Absolutely. and what some of those situations are. In ophthalmology, I, think, I know you've seen so many patients walk through our office. Mm -hmm. um, and you know we do a lot of cataract surgery and LASIK surgery, like you've said. But on, on occasion, we do, as an office, as a very busy, um, high volume office, we do see a lot of surgery here. But with certain entities, such as cataracts, we also see the regular normal cataracts that come mm -hmm. through the door, but we also have cataracts that come through the door that can be very complex or difficult. Unfortunately, there are patients that have cataracts that can accrue and mature over their time, and unfortunately, for the reasons of maybe not having adequate health care, not having access to health care, or patients just not seeking medical advice or getting eye exams and unfortunately they present with very difficult cataracts cataracts that probably should have been operated on years past right so that sometimes can be a challenge because obviously like a cataract is something going um the, the lens inside the eye as it gets cloudy mm -hmm. you know it also starts to swell but as time goes on and patients get older it can become more become more difficult to remove the cataract it can also make it make the job harder for the surgeon who's removing the cataract because the thicker and denser and larger the cataract is, it can involve more surgery. And that can sometimes raise the complication rate a little bit. So you know, we'll see patients that come in with significant cataracts where they're essentially legally blind. And um, you know those cataracts can pose to be a little bit more difficult but and we also have doctors who are regular cataract surgeons who also refer a surgery to us mm -hmm. because some doctors don't feel comfortable operating on patients with significant cataracts or cataracts that appear to be more complex than the usual are there a couple of different methods of surgery like technique not technique but technology that's available to those type of patients? I know there's laser cataract and, you know, what are the different options? Absolutely. Up until a few years ago, there was really only one major way to do cataract surgery, which is basically the traditional way, where we would manually uh, make our incisions and we'd use a little, um, what we call an ultrasound instrument, mm -hmm. almost like a micro jackhammer, to break up the cataract. Now, with the advent of laser cataract surgery, it's not only made cataract surgery more accurate, but has actually made it safer specifically for certain situations. Right. Um, and laser cataract surgery has not only made cataract surgery safer for these patients that come in with these difficult cataracts, but it also makes our job easier in trying to provide the best vision for these patients. Right. Um, and that's and that's been a huge advantage in our world um, with having laser cataract surgery. Going forward, those patients also present with certain inflammatory diseases, such as uveitis, mm -hmm. or a very significant diabetes of the eye, or macular degeneration. And those patients can also pose as patients who can be a little bit more difficult, especially patients who have had previous eye surgeries. Those patients sometimes can have a higher complication rate, and those cataracts can become a little bit more complex, just for the mere fact that their eyes have already been operated on, and they can have scar tissue. And whenever there's scar tissue, it makes things a little bit trickier. So a patient with conditions like uveitis or macular degeneration, like what um, type of surgery would they be having? What would be the benefit to that? I mean, typically, I recommend laser cataract surgery to all my patients. Okay. It's safer, and in the end of the day, because we have the advances in doing laser cataract surgery, the ability to remove astigmatism much better and more accurately than we were in the past, right. laser cataract surgery would be the preferred method because it can achieve better visual outcomes than traditional cataract surgery. So it's so precise. Okay. It's more precise, mm -hmm. but it can, it's also more safer. And with laser cataract surgery, a lot of ophthalmologists, including myself, will also say that 
I really don't mind patients staying on their medications, especially blood thinners, because the rate of bleeding is low, very low as it is with traditional cataract surgery. But when you're performing laser cataract surgery, that rate is even lower. So I feel very comfortable with patients remaining on any of their medications, including blood thinners, when they have laser cataract surgery. And again, that's one of the other advantages of having it done with laser. Great. And what are some of the other types of surgical procedures that you perform besides cataract surgery and the LASIK surgery? Well, unfortunately, we do have a lot of patients who come in and present with trauma. Mm -hmm. Some patients will present with significant traumas. We have patients that come in through the door every day, whether they have a, a nail injury to the eye or whether they had an injury from something like a bungee cord or they've mm -hmm. had trauma uh, uh, from a car accident or a motorcycle accident. So here at North Shore Care, you know, we see pretty much everyone. Uh, whether they're children, adults, or the elderly, and it can be, usually it's in the form of trauma, but trauma unfortunately can bring about so many different scenarios to the eye, and that usually requires immediate and emergent surgery. Right. Where are the places that the surgeries are performed? Most surgeries we perform at our private surgical center. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we have the laser, so most cataract surgery we perform there, but we do perform surgeries at lo the local hospitals, depending on the health of the patient. Some patients prefer to have surgery at a hospital. Some patients, given they have, may have significant health issues, uh, may be better off having surgery at the hospital. So it depends on most patients. But usually, exactly, but usually patients have surgery at, in a private ambulatory surgical center because those centers are more adapted to doing a lot of cataract surgery. Um, and it's a same day surgery and uh, patients usually prefer that and most patients usually go home regardless of whether they're in the hospital or not but the ambulatory surgical centers just have a little bit more experience with doing more volume in cataract surgery okay great anything else you want to share or add i uh, think it's pretty much it uh you know like i said you know we're just dealing with our daily potpourri of things that we see you know whether it's someone who comes in with a normal cataract or an advanced cataract or someone who comes in with macular degeneration, diabetes, mm -hmm. or someone who comes in uh, inquiring to have LASIK surgery. You know, that's one of the beauties of being an ophthalmologist, but not only just doing surgery, but g just being a general ophthalmologist. You get to see a potpourri of things, but also you get to treat a lot of patients, whether they're children, adults, and again, or they're elderly, but it gives you a, a, a brighter and a broader scope. Right. And it's almost like you get to be almost like a family doctor. You get to treat the whole family if you wanted to. Right. Another advantage of being an ophthalmologist, it's one of the things I like about being an ophthalmologist, not only do I enjoy performing surgery, but also I enjoy treating a larger, you know, just a broader range of just the family, right. and not just the elderly or children. Right. It's, you know, the scope is more expanded. Great. Well, I know you are a favorite among many patients, so um, if you would like to meet with Dr. Morrow for yourself, you can definitely schedule an appointment, and he would be happy to treat you here in our Smithtown office. You can contact us by calling 631-265-8780. We hope to see you in the office soon. Thank you. Thank you.